Okay, so questions 16 and 17. I guess I should say this is the new question 16 and 17. Uh, Acer introduced these two questions uh, probably uh, in 2012 or 2013. They took uh, these two questions from Unit 10 of their other book called GAMSAT Practice Questions. <clears throat> and then they put these, uh, they put the previous questions that were here uh, into uh, GAMSAT Practice Questions. So they switched uh, two questions. But in terms of content, uh, the Acer booklets have remained uh, the same over the years. Nonetheless, so questions 16 and 17. Um, first of all, they talk about independently segregating genes. So that makes you think about uh, Mendel's second law of independent assortment. And so the likelihood is that these, uh, these different traits um, are coded for on alleles uh, that are on uh, different chromosomes or a position um, where they are located, which is the position on a chromosome where a gene is located, that is a, a locus. And uh, so they talk about one gene spot, uh, controls a spotting and a non-spotting or plane is dominant. So the first thing that uh, I would you know, think of uh, writing on the exam is you would, you would write the phenotype Okay, so we have the phenotype here, which would be um, non-spotting. So that's non-spotting. And then uh, the genotype for this, we would have, um, we'll just say capital A is dominant. So whether you have AA or A small a, so either homozygous dominant or heterozygous, um, either one of these would uh, code for um, a non uh, spotting. Then if you if you had spotting, this would have to be a homozygous recessive. So small a, small a would be uh, um, coding for spotting. Okay, so that's, so that's that. And then it explains that uh, another gene uh, controls the color of the coat. So, so we have a dye hybrid uh, cross, there's two different genes, uh, two different locations. And um, it says that uh, heterozygous is yellow, homozygous is yellow, but don't survive birth. The alternative is black. Okay, so that we have to uh, put into language for um, what is the phenotype and the, and the genotype. We know that um, uh, for, we would have for this second position, second gene, we are told that heterozygous is going to be yellow. Okay, and we're told that uh, if it is um, homozygous dominant, they will die. And then finally, the other, what they're referring to, is going to be homozygous recessive, and, and these will be black. Okay, so those, those are our options. I think that if you can write this out, then, uh, then, then the answers become uh, quite uh, clear as to what's going to happen. Okay, so of the following, the most likely uh, proportion um, for the phenotypes. So it's a cross between two yellow mice. So if we have uh, two yellow mice, that's what we're referring to here. It's going to be two yellow mice. Obviously it can't be BB, even though that theoretically could produce uh, yellow, they die. <laughs> so uh, they cannot reproduce and obviously they're, they're not black. So we have two yellow mice. So this is just a typical uh, monohybrid cross in which we uh, create a Punnett square for this. And uh, we uh, look at the results. We have BB. Okay, we have BB. And we have s small BB. Okay, so these are the ratios that we are left with. And so we know that these will die. BB will die. So we don't look at these anymore. And then we look at the ratio of what we're left with. We have 2 to 1 of BB and small BB. So that's what we have. So this is the, uh, the ratio. That means we have 2 yellow. Uh, for every one black. So that's the ratio and that's uh, answer choice C for 16. Then 17. 
to yellow coded. So it's yellow coded. Again, it would have to be PB. Um, spotted mice were crossed repeatedly. Spotted means it must be AA. Okay, of the offspring, the phenotypes of offspring would likely include. Okay, so we're, we're repeating crosses between this and this. These are independently uh, uh, sorting genes. So if we know AA will only produce offspring that are AA, because that's like doing AA versus AA. So if you do this, you only get offspring that are going to be small a, small a, so they will all be spotted. So we only have to look at the ratio of the yellow and see what they would produce. But we already did that. And it showed that it would produce a ratio of 2 to 1. 2 BB for 2 BB. So that means that we have one third, which will be BB, one out of the total of, of this. So that's 33 and a third percent will be black spotted. Um, so you were able to get two answers from using the same Punnett square. And uh, if you wanted to uh, review some more information about Mendelian genetics, uh, you can read about it in bio 15.1 and 15.3.